You're going to lose her in this. Right. Yeah. You know, Especially if it's, it's not If me. it's what's right for everybody, <laughs> then it's a win-win for everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, so I, it, it's positive news, and I'm not yeah. happy about that. Um, anyway, anything else going on in the world that we need to talk about? Before I go off on tangents, <laughs> Mr. G's restaurant specials tonight. <laughs> oh, what are they? Those are important. <laughs> Shepherd's pie, <laughs> baked mac and cheese with ham steak, chicken fried chicken, smothered New York strip, and chicken rice for soup. Wow. The shepherd's pie is really good. I love their shepherd's pie. So, <laughs> anyhow. That's, that's what you get when you sign up to Mr. G's on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Daily specials. It's cool. That's cool. Now, their shepherd's pie is great. I love their shepherd's pie. I mean, the food's always good there, but... But I love the shepherd's pie. It's so good. I'm, I've always loved shepherd's pie anyway. It's always been one of my favorites. But, but they do a very good shepherd's pie. So, so we'll be there later. But, um, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so I had to run out of the house in a big hurry um, tonight because, um, because I, I had uh, my realtor there and came up for me to sign some contracts and stuff. And, um, and so I was running late and I had to bail out of the house. And, um, didn't get to grab my stuff, so I was a little bit, you know, sort of discombobulated. Mm. Not that that's a real word, but but anyway, um, so I missed some of the stuff, but um, but this is good. This is good news, and um, and anyway, bunch of stuff. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, bunch of events coming up. Before uh, before we get into that, I wanted to say um, that you want to uh, talk about the event from this weekend. Well, I want to talk about that too, but before I do that, um, I just wanted to say that, um, that uh, one of our, our people, our uh, mm -hmm. activities director, Renee Benoit, um, who is frequently on the show, is back now from Montreal. Welcome home. Um, and we'll probably call in momentarily, but, uh, but, <laughs> but anyway, so she's back. She had her surgery. She's back from Montreal. She's doing very well. And, yeah, um, she called last night. It was yeah. great to hear and her. It's so, <laughs> and it's, it's so good. So anyway, um, welcome back, Renee, and um, I know you're busy with your... You know, well, she's going to be busy for a while with her <laughs> aftercare. There's a lot yeah. of aftercare, but um, but anyway, so she's got her hands full at the moment. But um, post-surgical care. Yeah, but uh, but she's back and doing well, and that's so good. So anyway, welcome back, Renee. I'm going to say that we had uh, we had a bunch of stuff going on this weekend. Um, we have a bunch of events coming up. We're doing a bunch of speaking engagements um, coming up in the next couple of months. Um, which you want to know what they are? You can go over them if you like, <laughs> and then we'll talk about this weekend, which was so cool. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. Well, we'll we'll start by reminding people that the True Colors Conference at uh, Yukon Stores is March 12th and 13th. Um, you can go to ourtruecolors.com, or excuse me, ourtruecolors.org, to learn more about it and to sign up. It's an amazing conference. Um, if you can only go one day or the other, go. Um, Friday, March 19th. We'll be at UConn for a 9 a.m. panel with a nursing class with Jill Espelin, the assistant clinical professor at the School of Nursing. The following Friday, Friday, March 26th, and this is something all of our viewers can take, can take note of because this should be open. Um, Friday, March 26th at 6 p.m., uh, the Rainbow Center at UConn is hosting a trans Transgender Perspectives Coffee House. Uh, we'll have a coffee house reception from 6 to 7, a panel discussion from 7 to 9, and then from 9 to 10, more coffee house mingling. Coffee, 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 good. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> That'll be at the Yukon Rainbow Center in the Student Center. Yeah, which is very cool. March 26th from 6 to 10. It should be open. Anyone that has any questions should come. Yeah. Because we answer all questions. All questions, actually. <laughs> We're not shy. You sure you want the answer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Saturday, April 17th is the Transgender Lives um, Intersection of Health and Law Conference, the Yukon Health Center in Farmington. Obviously, that, the, the event that day covers the intersection of health and law as it pertains to transgender issues. Very cool. um, also, another, a very good event if you have an opportunity to go to it. And then Saturday, April 24th, right here in London at the Williams School at Conn College, we'll be participating in the Hands Against Hate Human Library Project, um, where people can um, show up to the school and register to get a library card and check out books. And we're books. People are books. <laughs> That's cool. They're going to have uh, people representing 
all kinds of misunderstood and um, discriminated against groups. Um, marginalized people. Marginalized yeah. people. And uh, if you ever wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone, um, this is an excellent opportunity to sit down with someone one-on-one -on -one and talk to them, find out more about them, and find out maybe why, you, why they are the way they are and help dispel some myths. Sure. It's very cool. And, and I, I meant, I, I've been meaning to contact That's them. Uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes. On all April day event, 24th. All day events, so you can come check us out. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> um, I, in fact, if Father, if Father Russ is watching, I meant to, um, meant to talk to you about that. Um, uh, we would sort of like to get you to be a book, too, if you're available. But. Yeah, if you're available, we'll get you uh, your information to Barbara Alfin, and yeah. she'll set it up. And certainly anybody else out there that's, that is um, somebody that's been discriminated against or marginalized um, that, that might want to be um, yeah. part of this should contact, um, contact Barbara Alfin at PFLAC. And, uh, or contact or us. Or contact and us, we and can, uh, we can get your information to her. Yeah. So, very, a very cool thing. Um, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. But uh, so it's gonna, we're going to be. They're all going to be fun. We're going to be busy. We're we're doing a lot of stuff at UConn, and it's really cool. Our affiliation with UConn is wonderful. I, uh, Turning into our second or third home. Yeah, it's really neat. Um, it's really neat. So. So for our, our internet viewers who are watching this on online later, you might have heard of UConn, even if you haven't heard of the other schools around here. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. It, and so this is great stuff. Um, anyway, so this weekend, this past weekend was really cool. We, um, in fact, we, we did a bunch of filming, and we're going to do probably wind up doing several shows out of this. But um, but we had um, we had a great time this weekend. We had uh, had uh, um, a band um, come to the house, and we filmed them, and we filmed interviews. Um, the band being um, Leslie Ann. Very very cool. Um, wonderful and people. Wonderful, and, and, and the performances were wonderful, and um, really, really cool. You're going to love this. It, it's, so we're going to play these, um, not tonight, but... Um, no, no, no. We have, to, we have to put it all together, but it was. It was, a, it was an awesome experience. Yeah. We, it was. We really want to thank all of them. We want to thank yeah. Leslie Ann Rios. We want to thank Penny Larson. We want to thank Erica Watson and Potter for coming. It was a wonderful experience, yeah. and you guys are definitely coming back. Yeah, yeah I, a house full of people for a good couple of days, exhausting, but in the best way possible because yeah. everyone was just delightful. Yep. Yeah, it was, it was great. The, the, um, I guess it's probably fair to point out that it's an all-girl band. Yep. It's, an all, it's an all trans girl band. And I'm glad your house is built as well as it was because they would have it was rocking. <laughs> yes. Oh, they, uh, yeah, they practiced in my front room on <laughs> Sunday, and that was loud. <laughs> I mean, even even at sort of acoustic levels. I mean, you can't make a drum quiet. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was, they are good. I mean, they're yeah. all professional musicians mm -hmm. and have been for... Each of the each for, of them for, years. for like twenty years. Yeah, they've they've uh, toured and taught for yeah. years. They're professional musicians. This was yeah. not an amateur band. Yeah, and it was great. And and you could see the professional. Um,